Good morning, Trinidad and Tobago, and welcome to The Boss Report. Well, today we're taking a look at one of the larger sectors on the Trinidad and Tobago Stock Exchange. We're talking, of course, about the conglomerate sector. And it was a pretty tough 2022 for the sector and all of its constituents, including Massey Holdings Limited and Zumacal, as well as Grace Kennedy Limited. 2023, however, based on Boss's internal forecasts, are looking a little bit brighter, well, quite a lot brighter, and that has led to several ratings upgrades across the sector let's take a look at how the sector would have performed in 2022 and what investors might expect in the year ahead so for 2022 the conglomerate sector overall did decline in value by about 16.7 percent falling from a market capitalization of 26.9 billion as at the end of 2021 to a market capitalization of 20 of 22.7 4 billion at the end of 2022. For 2023, based on Boss's forecasts, once again, uh, the value of the sector is expected to increase or forecast to increase of some 15 odd percent to just under $26 billion over the course of 2023. And this is going to be underpinned by a couple of key positive drivers or key macro drivers. In, uh, firstly, of course, would be the increased economic activity as uh, all of the business sectors would have reopened and COVID seems to be looming somewhat in the past, despite a recent increase in some cases, moderating inflationary pressures are re uh, arising from uh, reduced supply chain challenges at the global level, as well as price stabilization uh, is also expected to be a net positive for the sector, as well as financial market stabilization, which would have impacted uh, financial exposures, uh, certainly across the financial services business segments for several of the conglomerate sector constituents is also expected to be a net positive. So how does that translate uh, generically into performance? Well, that increased economic activity that we spoke about is expected to drive some degree of organic revenue growth across existing businesses for all of the, me the constituent members of the conglomerate sector. Moderating inflationary pressures and reducing supply chain challenges are also expected to result in stable to improving operating and profitability margins also are net positive overall in terms of impact to earnings generation by these constituent members of the conglomerate sector financial market stability or the reduction of financial market volatility is also expected to support uh, lower earnings volatility going forward in fact it support it should aid uh, or positive market performance in finance across financial markets should aid in improved earnings over the course of 2023 of course that is a big uh, <clears throat> that is somewhat uncertain at this point in time and at a stock specific level well acquisition activity is expected to drive inorganic earnings growth and all of the constituent members gkc uh, massey and anzo macalo emcl would have engaged in acquisition activities over the course of the past uh, 12 to 24 months certainly and that is also expected to have a positive impact overall uh, for these constituent members. So with that in mind, the sector stock ratings and target prices have been upgraded for 2023. And as you can see, well, in what is quite an unusual uh, uh, phenomenon, certainly uh, from my perspective, is that all of the all of the stocks in the, con in the uh, conglomerate sector have been upgraded uh, uh, to an overweight rating for 2023 based on the currently available information. And so McCall, for example, has been upgraded to an overweight rating with a target price of $60. Grace Kennedy Limited also upgraded to overweight with a target price of $5.25. Uh, TT and Massey Holdings Limited upgraded to an overweight with a target price of $5.05. Now, of course, this is based on available information, and these ratings are, as they usually are, or will be upgraded uh, as new information arises from financial earnings forecast, as well as any other new news on acquisitions or other uh, financial performance drivers. Well, that's it for this week's edition. You can give us a call at 226-8773 or to Boss for any more information. You can email us also at invest at bossfinancial.com. And of course, you can check out our website where all of our research is absolutely free at bossinvestment.com. Stay safe, have a very profitable investing week, and we'll see you next time on The Boss Report. Mm -hmm.